This is a typical edge crack. The impact point is in the fret. 77% of the time the impact point on an edge crack is going to be in a fret. The reason that edge cracks are 90% of the cracks you repair is because there is a defect called residual stress around the perimeter of the windshield. It's about two inches wide. This area fractures two and a half times easier than the rest of the windshield and because of the installation stress which you can feel when you knock on it and you can hear it, it comes out about four inches. So when you have a fracture in this defective two inch area it has to relieve that stress. The stress is relieved, the installation stress is then relieved at around 8 to 12 inches. So that's why you'll find 70% of your crack repairs are under 14 inches. Uh, this is one of the easiest repairs in the book. And we're going to start by drilling about an eighth of an inch in front of the point. That's called drilling and tapping a bullseye. You want the point of the crack to terminate in that bullseye. As long as you get that bullseye right and you get resin in there, the crack will never go anywhere. We're going to prime the point. One drop in there. And press on that. Kind of flexing the glass. Get the resin to go into that drill hole in the bullseye. And you can see most of the bullseye is now filled with resin just by flexing it. It's just to prime the point. <laughs> now that we've primed the point, we have our crack resin in here. These crack resins are patented and uh, they bond the cracks and they stay on the PVB. Most resins that are being used for crack repairs that are not ours will not stay on the PVB. They will come off the PVB and leave a void of refraction. vacuum there on the bullseye. Make sure we're level. Okay, now we have the resin under pressure going into the oil, into the crack. I find my drill hole here. There we go. When you place a crack opener on, you want to peel the cups back. You don't want to push them on. So that they're relatively flat. Just going to flex open the crack so we can get our crack resin in. While we're waiting for the resin to flow down the point, We 
can injector slide the edge with our edge crack resin. You always want to look from the side of the crack, the profile, when you're injecting it so that you can see if the resin is going in or not. From the head-on angle you cannot tell. The point is the tight section of the crack, which is why it goes in slower and is why we pry it open with a crack opener. Slide off the crack, do a little uh, quarter half turn of your injector so the resin doesn't spill on the windshield, loosen your crack opener, do ne never cure with your crack opener on because the resin will cure and then you'll take the crack opener off and because the glass wasn't in its neutral position you will end up refracting the resin. Now we're going to do what we call tabbing the crack. Put a bead of our edge crack resin on the top. Place mylar tape on top. This is to remove the oxygen so it will cure fast.
now we cure it for two minutes. Two minutes. Wipe off the UV, any resin or Vaseline with a dry rag first before you spray it with glass cleaner. And that is your typical edge crack off the side of the windshield. About 50% of your edge crack repairs are going to be this crack off the side.